All right, guys, welcome to the PES 2020 Become a Legend series with Lee Griffiths as we try and become a Celtic legend by taking Celtic to not only 9 in a row, but also 10 in a row and maybe go further on from there. So we're getting the season kicked off at Celtic Park against Hibernian and the good news is we've been picked to start. So I thought it was going to be Edward as the, you know, the starting striker, but uh, Neil Lennon has picked us. I don't know whether it's due to... You know, Edward maybe being injured or maybe Edward's black and Neil Lennon's secretly racist. I don't know, guys, but he's fucking picked me. He's picked Lee Griffiths. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get stuck in and hopefully we can get after a good start. So there appears to be the teams. It is Gordon, Nets, Julian, Adger, Mombombo, El Hamid, Bitten, Brown, Hayes, Forrest, Roderick and Griffiths. I mean, is it the best Celtic team you could have picked? Probably not. Hibbs team looks pretty decent though. Marciano, Portes, McGregor, Stevenson, Gray, Feller, Malin, Middleton, Horgan, Allen and Camberry. Not going to be an easy game guys, not going to lie man, this, is, this could be a fucking difficult tie. Uh, I'm looking for the Hibbs strip, but we're going to pick, it probably has to be the away one. And that away one looks fucking awful. Apologies to anyone that likes that, but that looks like absolute dog shit. And obviously we cannot change the game plan because we are not the manager, guys. We're just the we're just the cunt up front. Let's just stick the ball in the back of the net. So let's go and do it. And there are the players lining up. There's Scott Brown, the fucking destroyer. And he would he's that guy that said how's your sister, man? Scott Brown would have fucking destroyed him, see if there was any police of it. Probably would have killed him. Would have killed him with his bare hands. He'd have probably took the armband off and choked him out with the armband, I'm telling you. We did it there on the spot. There you go, so we are up front. Now, we are going to stick with the player cam, guys, for the first few games. Now, don't get me wrong, the player cam, depending on the angle, it, it can change dramatically out of nowhere, like a fucking RKO. So, I don't know, we might change it down the line, but I, I do want to try and uh, keep the player cam, because I think it would just give a different perspective, you know, it would it would make the series feel totally different from the Master League, and that's what I want, that's the kind of feeling I'm going for. But, um... No word of a lie, this will be weird as fuck playing on this player camera angle. But uh, we'll give it our best and it's going to be us then getting the kick off man on our own. Look at this, fantastic. Here we go, we've kicked off man, we've kicked off. And Hibbs passing the ball but well at the moment. Oh no, is that? Get stuck in mate. Oh, lovely for Brown, that's what we're talking about. Big Scott Brown. Griffiths. It's Lee Griffiths. Nice hold up play to Brown. Brown's fucked up, but we've managed to get it back. Don't fear, big Scotty. Ball's headed down, it's out to the right hand side. I don't have a clue who that is, but we're going to try and run into the box in. We're making the run in. Can this guy get a cross in? He does, but it's not a good one, and it doesn't fall for us, unfortunately. And I've noticed our stamina's a bit fucked, so I'm going to try and calm it down a wee bit. But we've not had a good game at the moment, but it's not really been in it. I've not done nothing wrong, just haven't really had any opportunities. I've done a lot of running about as well, which isn't too good. Here we go, Lee Griffiths now can try and turn it to defence, and here we go. We're on our own still, but... Oh, Lee Griffiths shoots, blocked, I had to go for it, may have been a bit greedy, but it's like the first opportunity we've had, so I mean I kind of had to try and let it rip. There you go guys, half time man at Celtic Park, I mean very little chance he's created, I think we've had one shot, it was blocked, I, okay, I thought he even had a shot, I don't know, I don't even think so, I mean no, it's been dreadful, Hips have had most of the possession, they've made more passes, um, but they've had more crosses into the box, but just not good enough, guys, to both teams. And unless something changes here, you know, I think this is going to be a a nil nil. But we'll see what happens in the second half. Um, we're, we're, our stamina is pretty poor. I don't think we've got a lot of time left, to be honest. Shit, ball through the Camberry, turns, he shoots. It's a good save from Craig Gordon. I think it's Craig Gordon in nets. Ball comes in. Head of the way. Uh, Brown will pick it up on the edge of the box. Back out wide then. It's Brown. Oh, back into Roger. He couldn't get the shot away. Jesus, that was fair. 
Lee Griffith, oh, we just, I don't know what we're doing there. Well, we've won a free kick, which is good, and I think we could be on this, so uh, happy days. I mean, this is an opportunity with 25 minutes to go. This is a good chance here for us to do some. You can see there, we were holding the block pretty decent. Allen came in, but I don't think it's Allen. I think it's Malin actually that's giving away the foul. Well, Allen's the one protesting, but we won't really know. It should be Griffiths on it, and it is Griffiths on it, so here we go. Chance here. Cal McGregor has come on for Johnny Hayes. Ball comes in. Oh, it's all oh, well. We've won a corner. I mean, I think that was a decent, a wee bit higher, and that might have been going in. But uh, we'll never know. It's bounced off someone's heat. Oh, it's Griffiths. Griffiths. Ball gets crossed in, and it's cleared away. Griffiths again. Oh, that's lovely for us, man. We've don't take it. Sh Why is he took it short, man? I wanted an opportunity at the free kick. You bastards. And uh, he passes it to me when I didn't want it. I mean, I did everything great there. Nice wee turn, but unfortunately, Tom Rogers decided he was going to take a short one. I don't know why he would do that. Maybe he wasn't too impressed with my first effort. I don't know. And now uh, it was a foul conceded by Celtic. It's going to be a Hibernian free kick. And uh, who was it who gave away the foul? Was it Rogic? No, nah, man, it's uh, El Hamid. We are a big boot there, so... And we're going to make our last substitution. We have. We've been taken off. Edwards came on, but he's only got three minutes to do something. So uh, let's see if he gets the job done. His first touch. Plays it back to El Hamid. We're just going to watch it, guys. I mean, it's not like there's a lot left to go anyway. So can we create one opportunity, hopefully? Edward does win the header. He knocks it onto Cal McGregor, who tries to get it back to Edward. Didn't happen. And that's probably going to be it. Scott Brown. Almost won it there, but he didn't, and then, that is it guys, full time whistle, so not a good start man, not a good start at all. I mean we get an achievement for the debutant, but that's not what we were hoping for man, so. Uh, disappointing, really disappointing there, you can see only three shots in the entire match, simply not good enough. I think we had both of them actually, poor, very poor. We got a 6.5 rating, which I think is a bit generous, yeah not great, I mean you always kind of want to get a goal, don't you, on your debut, and that just didn't happen there, so, you see the other results, uh, we drew with Hibs, obviously, Hamilton beat Afros County, Hearts beat Kilmarnock, Muller beat St. Johnson, Rangers beat Aberdeen 3-0, bit of a shocker there, wouldn't expect them to win by that much, and St. Mary beat Livingston 3-1, so already Rangers now have a two-point lead in the, the league, just because we couldn't score, we drew a blank, we fucked up against Hibs, not that a 0-0 draw against Hibs, it's not the worst, you know, result in the world, like, but at home, You'd want to get a good start, and unfortunately, we didn't do that. But I mean, there's always time for the next one. Actual progress, expected progress. So you can kind of see that we are expected to dip in rating rather than improve, which is a wee bit worrying. All right, so just received another message here. Um, you're starting the match as a centre forward. Okay, interesting. Are we starting again? This time it's against Ross County away from home. And it looks like we are. It looks like we are starting again. So uh, let's have a quick look at the game plan. Again, just one man up front. Looks like a stronger team this time, attacking-wise, anyway. So you've got Brown, McGregor, Roderick, Forrest, and Sinclair. Well, what, what I wasn't happy about in that last game is, I mean, if I'm not playing well, I think Neil Lennon has to make the changes quicker than he did. I mean, he subbed me off with three minutes to go. Personally, I would have me off a bit quicker, a lot quicker than that, but he's the manager, we're not. And here we are at Farnley Sports Park, so <laughs> it's a shit stadium, so it could pass as Ross County's. Ross County applaud their fans in Dingwall, and then you can see the Celtic fans have also made the trip. And it's going to be Ross County to get us off. We'll run it back, Scott Brown will pick this up now. Again, he goes back to Agile. Callum McGregor back to Agile. Skin Sinclair in towards Griffiths. Griffiths, nice wee turn there. Oh, I'm up being brought down. The referee's played on, though. And the well, ball's not going out of play, so chance here if we can get into the box. Cross comes in, we're nowhere near it. Oh, it's a goal! It doesn't matter! It is Callum McGregor. And that actually turned out to be a good advantage, and initially I was fouled. 
I mean, I was surprised the referee didn't call it their straight because it was a pretty bad challenge, to be honest. But nah, he's played on. I then I thought the ball went out. I kind of gave up on it. I thought the ball went out of play, but nah, it was kept in. The cross came in, and it was Cal McGregor meeting the header. I mean, we'll see it again in the replay here. Did the ball go out? Nope, it didn't go out. And then Cal McGregor at the near post with the header, and Ross County keeper's got no chance. And I mean, straight away, that takes the pressure right off me. I mean, I know it wasn't me that scored, but. Just the fact that we're in a leading position now, we can kind of, you know, not panic as much and I can relax and hopefully that will lead to better things. And we've been brought down again, man, that's shocking. Has to be a yellow card, surely. And it is going to be Gardine going into the book there. We've got Slee Griffiths. We've been fouled again, man, and I don't know, what is this? Pick on, pick on the fucking gambler or something, man. This time the referee's only going to have a warning. I mean, that's three times we've been fouled in this match. That's Gardine, he could have been off there. But the referee's decided to let him away with it. You see, just again, coming in from behind, clattering into this. Ross County. Coming forward. Plays it to Gardine, Ricky Foster now. Former Rangers and Aberdeen right back. Also played for St Johnston, now playing his FIPA at Ross County. And Ross County trying to find a break for here, not really happening. Two men are in him, Scott Brown jumps in, wins the ball, and it's Bauer. Forrest, we've got Lee Griffiths here out wide. Back to Forrest. Back to Lee. No. We've got a oh! Oh, come on, man, for fuck's sake! That has to be a yellow, man, get the cards out! What are you doing? Oh, we're down, I think this could be an injury. We could be getting taken off here. That looks like he's calling for the stretch. Oh no, the referee it seems to be calling for something. And look at that. It's just it's shocking. Shockingly late there. And I think that could be the end of our game. I mean, I don't know why he's fucking pleading. And it is. We've been taken off. We've injured. And that is massively disappointing, man. Fuck me. And that cross is even worse than disappointing. That's shocking. If I was still on the pitch, I would have delivered a better one than that. It's going to be James Forrest here. Time's up, but the referee might allow one more attack. Since Edouard is clear away, that will do it. And it's full time, guys. Oh, wait, so wasn't it Edouard? I thought Edouard had two. It was James Forrest that got the second goal. Apologies, I thought it was Edouard. So Edouard only got one goal. Which I guess that's not too bad for us then. And in the end, you see Celtic six shots, four on target. Ross County failed to get a shot. Just complete domination for the Celts. Uh, we only got a 5.5 rate, and again, not really our fault. I thought we played decently. We, we had tracked a lot of fouls. We'd drawn a lot of fouls, but, you know, that is what it is. Uh, we got taken off Angel. And Rangers have dropped points already, so that gets us back level. And I believe we're exactly level then, because they won 3-0 in their first game. We've won 3-0, and we're both through 0-0, so we should be exactly level on points. Hearts lost to Mullerwell, Hibs lost to St Mirren at Easter Road, shocking result for them, and Aberdeen got their first points of the season. So you can see St Mirren and Mullerwell at the moment leading the way, but both Celtic Rangers in behind on four points, still undefeated. Top four clubs all undefeated. Mullerwell, Celtic Rangers all yet to still concede a goal in this uh, in this series, so good for them. Then you can see us then, our stats, two appearances so far, and we're working out at an average rating of 6.0. Which is, uh, you know, 6.0, it is average, it's pretty much, you know, bang in the middle of what an average, <laughs> average, average is. Uh, European Best Player Award announcement, I don't think it's going to be us. But you never know, could be, nah, it's Lionel Messi. Fuck. Maybe next year, maybe next year it'll be us. Uh, Lee Griffiths leads by example. Now we're going to find the groups are drawn. So we'll find out who we'll go in the Champions League. But, um... Are we injured? Let me see. Uh, firstly, I hope you've been able to settle down after the initial shock of getting injured. For now, I want you to focus on your recovery. These are the results from medical team. Diagnosis bone fracture. Expected recovery sometime in September. Oh my god. Sometime in September? What month are we in now? Oh wait, we're in September. Alright, okay. No, wait, 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 we're not. We're actually in August. So, I don't know. Sometime in September. That tells me we're going to miss a bunch of games. Shite. Let's have a quick look here at the schedule. Now we'll, we're going to miss this Kelly game. I can pretty much guarantee that because it's not even in September. 
you'd expect to miss the two early games, the Scotland games. We might be back for the Motherwell game. Holy shit, PSG in the Champions League. I'd love to be back for that one. No idea if we'll be playing or not. Who else we get? Bayer Leverkusen is in our Champions League group. And who's the other team? Real Madrid. Holy fuck. Champions League group with Real Madrid, PSG and Bayer Leverkusen. It's going to be difficult, guys, to go to that one. But we'll find out what happens in episode 3, man. How long are we going to be injured for? I don't know. Nobody knows. The doctor doesn't even fucking know. He's, he's gave us a rough estimate. Could be any time in the month of September. Jesus Christ, man. Why are we paying this guy? Why the hell are we paying this guy? I mean, you can't even fucking tell me when we're going to return. But anyway, guys, till next time. Uh, still to get a goal, but I feel like it's coming. It would have came against Ross County, but fucking that cheating bastards hacked me to pieces. Anyway, that's it, man. Till episode three. This has been the League It's become a legend series. Leave a like down below and comment what you're thinking so far. Peace.